everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you my habits for keeping a clean house and also some tips on how you can maintain a clean house. The habits that I'm going to share with you in this video are habits that I have been doing for a long time and they have helped me to maintain a pretty clean house most of the time. So hopefully you will find this video helpful in keeping your house clean. My first tip would be to have a daily cleaning routine. Just come up with a daily cleaning routine that works for your schedule and lifestyle and is something that you can easily do on an everyday basis. These first few clips that you're seeing are from my daily cleaning routine video that I filmed a while back. You can tell these clips are from a while back because I don't have a pregnant belly. But um, if you want to see that video, I will link it in the description down below. My next tip and a habit of mine is to make your bed every morning. It only takes a minute of your time if you can get into the habit of doing it. And also if your bed's not made, you don't have any inspiration to clean the rest of your room. So I've made it a habit to make my bed every morning. Next is to have a laundry routine. My laundry routine is that I do laundry every Monday. So on Monday, I just do all of the laundry and I get it all done so I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the week. Some people like to do several loads of laundry throughout the week and I don't like to drag it out like that. I just like to have one specific day where I do laundry and I get it all done. Next, I like to keep my countertops clutter free. Everybody's different, but I don't like to store a lot of stuff on my countertops like appliances. The appliances have a specific spot in the pantry and cabinets, things like the rice maker, the mixer, the toaster. These are things that I don't use on an everyday basis, so I only need to get them out when I actually need them. Um, I do have a small kitchen too. So that's probably also why I don't like to keep a lot of stuff out on the countertops, but I think even if I had a bigger kitchen, I still would only want to keep a minimal amount of stuff on the countertops. It just looks good and I just like a clutter-free countertop. In these clips here, I was showing you everything that I keep on my countertop. Now I do have my Keurig sitting out on the counter that is an appliance, but we use that every day, so it makes no sense to keep it put away when we just be getting it out every single morning. I also like to keep a minimal amount of stuff on the bathroom countertops, and if you store stuff on your bathroom countertops because you can't fit everything in your cabinets and your drawers, then maybe you could clean them out and come up with a good organizational system so that you're able to fit everything into your cabinets. I've gotten into the habit of picking up the toys with Kyle before nap time and before bedtime. This just helps to keep the toy mess under control. Now if he has something special set up that he wants to play with when he wakes up, then of course we will leave that set up. My next habit that I have is to clean up as you cook and this is also something that I remember my mom telling me when I lived at home was to clean up your mess as you're cooking and that way you don't have as big of a mess to clean up when you're done and it's so true and it's something that I've gotten into the habit of doing. Just when you have a moment while you're cooking, pick up the mess that you've made so far and it definitely makes it a lot easier to clean up the mess when you're done cooking.
Once I put the supper in the oven and I was waiting for it to bake, I took that opportunity to wash the pans. My last tip for you is to always clean up the kitchen before you go to bed. This is something that I've gotten into the habit of doing over the years and it makes my morning go so much better the next day if I can wake up to a clean kitchen, especially if I have to be somewhere in the morning. This only takes a couple of minutes to do. I just get up as soon as we're done eating supper and I clean off the table, put the dishes in the dishwasher, and there really isn't that much to do, especially since I kept things cleaned up while I was cooking. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you. If you're not already subscribed, go below this video and click that red subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future videos. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.